Alright, now hello everyone, welcome to RC's Real Fanning Productions. It's been some time since I've uploaded a video due to my crazy schedule getting in the way. But I'm finally here, I have a video for you guys. This is on the uh, recently purchased Alco S4 in the Erie Railroad paint scheme number 529. Um, this thing is from Bachman Trains and I'm actually somewhat impressed with it because um, I'll be completely honest, I haven't had the greatest experience with Bachman products, so uh, I'm pretty happy about this. So, uh, this thing has a Wabco E2 horn on it, because I have ran it a bit already, and uh, it sounds pretty nice. You can change it to a P3 or uh, an A25 combined with an A200. So, I'll turn to the side, or to the rear, and that's... The rear it has the uh, the cab light and all the the pretty nicely done details of it. The other side's the same as the front, and um, turn it back around again. That's the front of the unit, and looks like an S4 if you had to ask me. Gives me a New York and Lake Erie 308 vibes from this, but um, it's a pretty good runner it has some traction issues i have to say but um it's good for carrying one or two at the most three cars around if you just want to do like a yard job or something with it or uh, excursions um it's definitely a good idea to do it with that but no uh, nice led lights on this too with the product and uh, i'm overall impressed with it so let's get into some of the minor details Starting on the right side of the unit, we can see right from the front, we have the stairs heading up to the cab, um, the yellow handrails, and they are plastic. This is the whole plastic model. This is plastic too. Um, these old tanks up here, radiator fan, just more vents into the engine. Um, the yellow stripe on the side of the unit. Um, I'm impressed too with the trucks. They're pretty well detailed under there. And the bells right here. And um, the Erie Railroad. And their logo. And then the 529 right up here. Coming back to the rear of the cab, we can see the 529 yet again, and the builder's plate, along with the cab window, and um, the, Les or the Wabco E2 horn. And then the steps on the rear of the train to access the cab. Flipping the unit to the rear, we have the LED headlight, which during normal operations with it going forward, it will stay off. Um, the rear cab windows, nicely done. Um, I don't think there's anything in there in the cab, which is okay. I mean, I can see some wires and such, but um, yellow handrails, again, plastic, LED lights, Erie 529, um, this odd shaped handrail here. Um, plastic knuckle coupler, typical, and then the snow plow on the bottom here, along with the coupler release right here, which it actually moves, which is impressive. And um, that's pretty much it for the rear. It's pretty much the same on this side as the other side, except there's no bell or um, it's really it. But um, so that means we'll move to the front. Snow plow, nicely done, yellow, weird shaped hand rail, coupler release, um, plastic knuckle coupler, and it does have the air hose for both ends. 529 LED light. This one stays on um, all the time, going forward or backwards. Um, you can dim this one too. You can dim the back one, I believe, too, if you'd like. Again, the diesel tanks are up here, more fans. And um, the nicely, these handrails are done pretty nicely. 
Um, it's definitely a lot more than I expected from a $95 Bachman model. So uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed with the unit. Here's a view of the top with the, the horn right here, exhaust, and then I believe this is the radiator fan and just panels to access the engine. There is one on the front of the unit too. Now there really ain't nothing too special about the undercarriage except for the bell right here. Um, diesel tanks, and this is where the speaker is right inside here. And then the two trucks, both of them appear to drive. Um, traction power again is not the greatest, but uh, that's really its only flaw. I think this model is a pretty, pretty good investment. So uh, if you're ever looking for a good model, if you just want an eerie switch or something, even if you're going to leave it on the side most of the time, I would definitely recommend this. So along with this Erie switcher, I also picked up something else. Yes, it's a Wheeling and Lake Erie ballast topper. Um, I have three of them actually. Timber. Wheeling and Lake Erie. Now these are all the same pretty much except for the numbers and a few things, but um, it's pretty well detailed. Um, shoot, what's the name of the company? Bowser. That, that's who made him. They put some um, coal or rock or whatever on the inside of here. And um, so it, it looks pretty nice on the inside. And the outside looks like a regular hopper car. Um, the, the trucks actually have brown paint on them so they look like they're a little rusted and uh, all the safety placards and plates and that such and reflectors and um, the number of the car wheeling and Lake Erie logo and uh, turning the model to the side Let's see we have the number again it's a safety placard handbrake coupler it's plastic air hose uh, handrails and some air brake equipment in this there. And other side, it's really not much different except there is no hand brakes. And um, this side's the same as the other, so that's the three hopper cars. Now let's see how this old puppy performs. Let's see if it was really worth the investment. Power's on, I just have a few settings on. So, take out these settings. That's what it starts with, is the sound of the auto running. Now, if I turn the headlights off, it's on the front, now it's on the back. You have to switch it. And that's it dimming on the rear. Um, LED lights, of course, looks very nice. And uh, I'll get it pulling out of this little museum area. And I adjusted the settings so it automatically do the forward and reverse part. Get the train going into the yard, picking up some more track tires. in a moment what I mean by the front light stays on, but it's only dim. The couplers on this model are not that bad, too. See, it actually picked it up. And that's the dimmer on there. So let's get a pull in an excursion. Okay, it's time to pull forward.
Thank <laughs> you. 